On a warm summer day in Clarksville, Indiana, you are sure to see plenty of activity along the Ohio River Greenway. The town of Clarksville finished its portion of the Greenway in 2019, allowing walkers and bicyclists to travel through Jeffersonville, Clarksville, and New Albany. Between the completion of the Greenway and the recent COVID epidemic, town officials have noticed a rise in the number of visitors. And we saw that uh, this was a growing project, you know, not just with the Greenway, and Discovery Trail, but also the talk about the Origin Park coming in. So we were sitting here looking, you know, what steps can we start taking to make sure that we're giving enough coverage for these areas that are, that are going to be a little bit harder for the normal patrol unit to hit. Those steps included the addition of a new bike patrol unit for the Clarksville Police Department. Chief Mark Palmer says the department used funds resulting from narcotics busts to purchase the equipment needed to start the program. That also meant bringing in special instructors to provide training for his officers. We did this on a volunteer process, so if you were interested, you had to take the course. Now the course is not easy. I mean, you log almost 100 miles on a bicycle, and that's including getting on, getting off, picking the bike up, carrying it for distance, uh, utilizing the bike not only in a defensive manner, but in a proactive manner. Chief Palmer says the new bike patrol program has been operating for about two months, but it's been in the works for six. He says it took some time to get the equipment in place and to allow officers to undergo that special training. Just a just a ton of good good training we got out of that course to make us all feel more comfortable and make us all safer at the end of the day. Officer Tyler Jackson was one of the first Clarksville officers to join the new bike patrol. He says being on a bicycle has changed the way he interacts with local residents. We're just excited to get out here and interact with the public. Um, makes it a little bit more personable being on a bike rather than in the car. Interacting with the public on a more regular basis is one of Chief Palmer's reasons for starting the bike unit in the first place. He says while working in a police cruiser, an officer would have an average of 15 to 30 interactions with the public during a shift. That number jumps to 50 to 100 interactions for an officer on a bicycle. It's just a more user-friendly tool for the officers. You know, the patrol unit it's great, but having the bicycle, you have more contact with the public. Officer Jackson says he and his fellow officers have already seen a positive response from the community. The amount of waves and thank yous and just more people engaging with us has been uh, tremendous. As for the bikes the officers use, they're specially outfitted with lights and sirens just like a police cruiser. Bike patrol officers also have all the equipment they would normally carry, even if they were in a car. We still wear the protective vest, we still have to wear gun belts. Uh, the helmets, so it's uh, it's a little bit more than just a casual ride. Although the reaction from the public has been positive so far, bike officers understand if some people have to do a double take. There's the jokes you see, you know, of, oh the bike police, you know, uh, but uh, from the most part, the interaction with the public it's all been positive. I think I think it takes a lot of people by surprise, including including the perpetrators. They, uh, I think they're a little surprised to see officers out on bikes. When it comes to his fellow officers though, Jackson says the only joke is over who wouldn't be able to join the squad. Uh, there, <laughs> there's been some jokes on uh, who can probably endure it or not. All jokes aside, residents who use Clarksville's trails and parks on a regular basis say they appreciate the added security and they are glad the officers are becoming more mobile. I think it's going to make people feel safer if they're walking or running on the trail. We see quite a few younger people, girls, uh, running, jogging, usually in twos, and uh, I think it would help them feel safer too. Keeping the community safe. I think they love seeing us out here. One ride at a time.